Whether you still have a narcissist in your life or not, we can all agree that interactions with narcissists are incredibly frustrating. No matter how prepared you think you are for these conversations, you walk away feeling like the narcissist has the upper hand or like somehow they're winning. And what's interesting about that is that you feel like they're winning because they feel like they're winning and they're essentially dominating the conversation. But I can assure you they are most definitely not winning. They're not winning at relationships and they're not winning at life in general. But that probably doesn't help you in the moment when you have to come face to face with a narcissist. So if you're looking to outsmart a narcissist, I have seven tips to help you do just that. By the end of this video, you're going to understand how to come face to face with a narcissist in your life. And instead of you walking away confused and frustrated, the narcissist will do that. Welcome to the Common Ego community. My name is Christina and on this channel we talk about narcissistic abuse, its connection with spirituality, and we attempt to answer the question, where do we go from here? So if that all sounds good to you, be sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. So the first thing I want to talk about is whether or not narcissists are actually intelligent. This is something that I think some people misunderstand. Somebody is not smart just because they're a narcissist. There are different types of narcissists and there are lots of ways to break it down. But in this context, we're going to talk about the cerebral and the somatic narcissists. So the cerebral narcissists are the ones who tend to be highly intelligent and they use their intelligence to gain power, usually in business and over the people in their lives. Then there are the somatic narcissists who are very concerned with their bodies and appearance. There can definitely be crossover. Just because a narcissist is attractive and concerned with their appearance doesn't mean that they're not intelligent, which kind of brings me to my next point. It doesn't really matter whether this narcissist is smart or not. You don't have to have more knowledge on any specific topic. The only thing you need to know is how to keep the narcissist from trolling the situation and from controlling you. And to be honest, it's probably a little bit simpler than you might think. It can be very difficult in practice because when somebody's in front of you triggering you, it's definitely easier said than done. But there are some simple techniques that can help you get through this. And we're going to cover seven of them right now. Okay. So the first thing you have to do, if you haven't already, is keep your communications limited with this person. If you've decided this is somebody you still have to have in your life, keep it very, very simple. Talk to them about the things you have to talk to them about and try not to take it any further. Don't ask any questions about their life. Don't answer any questions about your life. And if you do answer, just keep those answers very short and generic. So we're going to jump into the second way you can outsmart the narcissist. So the second way you can outsmart the narcissist, and this is kind of building up to some techniques that we're going to use a little bit later, but these, the first three are very foundational things that we need to discuss before we can get to the other stuff. So the second thing is understanding narcissism and some basic things about the personality. So understanding that they lack whole object relations. And this presents as a very black and white view of people and of the world around them. So if they're angry, if they're currently angry at you and you're seeing that, they cannot be nice or say nice things about you. They can't have positive feelings and negative feelings about you at the same time. You're either all good or you're all bad. Another thing we need to understand about narcissism is that narcissists lack emotional empathy. So these aren't people that you want to have knock down, drag out fights with because they'll stop at nothing. If you do have empathy, it's very difficult to, to even fathom what it's like not to have it. But if you really actually do not care a bit about anyone else's feelings or needs, it's not a fair match for somebody who does care about other people. So this is part of the reason why we're not going for revenge here. Also because it's bad karma, but it's also just a bad idea in general. You, when you start looking for revenge, you, you get caught up in a cycle where it, it just doesn't end. So you do something and then they'll retaliate probably worse than what you did. And then you feel again, you're even more driven for revenge. It's, it's just not 
it's not productive it's not a good idea so a foundational understanding of narcissism can definitely help you outsmart the narcissist if you want to outsmart the narcissist the third thing you need to do is distance yourself not just from the narcissist but from his or her group of flying monkeys or the harem of exes anyone who is on that person's side no matter what and now keep in mind that some of these people themselves can be two-faced so they can be you know doing double duty and playing nice with you to get information to bring back to the narcissist so you have to be careful with people who are friends with both of you tread very lightly with anyone who is a common friend and if the narcissist has turned some important people in your life against you this is a really tough call it's difficult to let go they're so important and you want to you want to turn them back but until the dust settles the best thing you can do is just let it go and you can revisit it later after you've done some healing and there's been some distance between you and the narcissist it might be a little bit easier to have open conversations about the situation and and rebuild some friendships in some cases it's not possible but there's definitely a greater chance when a little bit of time has passed all right so now we're getting to some defensive strategies the fourth way you can outsmart a narcissist is to not give them what they want and if you've cut them out of your life already mostly as much as possible probably what they're going to be looking for is an argument or it could be some sort of hoovering attempt but when you reject the hoovering attempt it will almost inevitably end in an argument because you're injuring the narcissist by setting boundaries so in number four we're not going to engage they're very likely to say things that either bait or trigger you and this is your first line of defense here just i'm sorry you feel that way they're going to say something that they know you have an emotional tie to and whether it's good or bad your response to that thing should be very dry if they're saying nice things oh that's very nice of you to say if they're saying something negative i'm really sorry you feel that way don't defend yourself don't get stuck in that loop of arguing about whatever it is the narcissist brought up because that is the very reason this person brought up the topic because they want to debate you into an argument but we're smarter than that aren't we we know better than to argue with a narcissist so the first line of defense is just sorry sorry you feel that way or if it, again if it's something nice that's very kind of you to say then change the subject the fifth thing you can do to outsmart the narcissist is to take the power away from whatever they're saying in that moment so if they're implying that you're let's say they're saying oh you're weird you might think back to that weird habits of a covert narcissist video and want to say like uh, look who's talking but that would start an argument so instead give every indication that you are happy with who you are no matter what it is the good and the bad and if the narcissist brings up something that is truly a flaw that you're self-conscious about and you want to respond to it and disarm the narcissist take the power away in that moment what you can do is you can either say well yeah that's something that i used to really struggle with but i've come a long way or you can use two very very powerful words so what whenever they're attacking you and whenever they're talking about something that is is upsetting you and you feel like they're attacking your character who's the one who really needs to care about that right it's you like it, if anyone should be concerned about whatever it is they're bringing up it's you and if you're not concerned about it that completely deflates the entire argument it deflates the conversation because again what they're doing and bringing this up is they're trying to hurt you and if you show that you're unaffected they have no power and when you say something like so what what are they going to say in response the best they can do is try to poke at you and try to figure out why you don't care and imply that you should care in response to that you can always just turn it back around well why do you care you know why do you care so much <laughs> we need to remember that these are people who we've decided we do not want in our lives anymore so their opinion of us does not matter what they're trying to do is they're trying to trigger something within you to make 
you feel bad about who you are. And again, we're smarter than that. And even though we all know we're not perfect, we can accept our flaws and we can work on them. There's no need to be embarrassed for who you are or what you've done. Just own it. Own it and the narcissist has no power. So the sixth way you can outsmart a narcissist is to highlight the ugliness that is coming out of this person's mouth. Just be sure to remain calm because if your emotions escalate, then you're kind of in the same place and you don't, you're you losing your power. You haven't outsmarted them in this situation. But what they're trying to do here is they're trying to manipulate the situation. So they're saying something ugly or hateful, even if it's super passive aggressive, even if they have all the plausible deniability, maybe it's just a tone of voice that only you would know what they really mean when they're saying what they're saying. If it's something passive aggressive and super cryptic, ask them what they mean by that. That's a weird comment. What does that mean? Even if you know what it means and they know you know what it means. <laughs> turn it around on them so they're the ones defending themselves and if they're saying something outwardly ugly call that out too wow that was really really mean what's up with all the anger now keep in mind that this could cause a narcissistic injury when you force them to look within themselves this could cause a narcissistic injury. And if you haven't watched my recent video about that, I'll link to that one too. The seventh and final way that you can outsmart the narcissist during a conversation is to keep a very close eye on your emotional state. So pretend you're wearing like a heart monitor type thing. And every time you get emotional, either angry or sad or hurt, Every time you're feeling some sort of trigger, some emotional trigger, just imagine an audible beep going off. This is the danger zone. And it's the danger zone because you are highly likely to react in that situation. I have a series on the emotional guidance system that can help you understand what's really going on when the narcissist is triggering you. What they're doing is triggering wounds within you. And that's why you want to react so badly to the things they're saying. And they're so, so good at this. But if you haven't seen it already, I suggest you watch that series. I'll link to it here. And in those moments, in those moments where you have that, that pretend audible beep, bring it back to you. Acknowledge that you're being triggered, that it's going on in here and it's not out there. And try to keep it here and walk away. And you can deal with that trigger on your own time. But responding in an emotional way to the narcissist is not going to do anything to help your current situation. It may help you feel a little bit better in the moment, but what's going to happen really is you're going to get into a back and forth argument. And there's going to be a lot of things said that you probably wouldn't have said or didn't want to say. So it's really better just if you can keep it all here and walk away. So those are seven ways you can outsmart a narcissist in conversations and in any dealings that you have with them. If you have to have a narcissist in your life, you're going to want to keep the upper hand and you're going to want to keep them from controlling everything. So you can use these tips. And again, just a warning, if you see a narcissistic injury coming on, you that might be a good time to, to exit if you can. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you'd like to see more like it, be sure you're subscribed. I'll see you next time.